The eyes of the world are on Paris for an unprecedented global summit aimed at tackling climate change. This is the greatest moment we will ever have to be able to actually tackle climate change. This is the 21st meeting of the UN Framework Convention on Climate Change, a meeting known to most as COP21. Now these talks kicked off following tragic terrorist attacks. Now that hasn't stopped momentum from building towards reaching a deal here in Paris. Despite the cancellation of massive mobilizations in Paris, tens of thousands took to the streets, calling on leaders to craft an ambitious deal at COP21. They demanded commitments to lower greenhouse gas emissions, protect the world's most vulnerable countries from the worst impacts of climate change, and support a global energy revolution, transitioning the world to 100 percent renewable energy. In cities around the world, nearly a million people took to the streets in what was a record day for climate demonstrations. Before the meetings, the head of the UNFCCC was presented with a climate petition signed by nearly two million people of different faiths. We'll be delivering the signatures to political representatives from the UN. The faith community worldwide, all faiths are, are asking for climate justice, are asking for a fair and ambitious climate agreement here in Paris. When the talks began on Monday, more than 100 heads of state addressed the negotiators. Now, each leader offered a message about building on the unprecedented commitments made by nations over the last year to reduce emissions. Is the fact that our nations share a sense of urgency about this challenge and a growing realization that it is within our power to do something about it. But it's not just the activists, faith leaders and heads of state making noise. When the speeches were finished, the private sector joined in. The biggest statement came from Bill Gates, who went to bat for renewables by joining 19 countries and 27 other corporate heavyweights to double clean energy spending worldwide by 20 billion U.S. dollars. COP21 has kicked off with unprecedented momentum and heightened pressure from a diverse chorus of voices. In Paris, I'm Siroja Coelho for Green TV.